Nigerian entertainer Charles Oputa, better known as Charlie Boy, is unarguably one of the most unconventional entertainers in the country. Well, this 65-year-old boy tells us he regards the backlash he receives for his unusual lifestyle as compliments. At 65, eclectic singer and television producer and writer Charles Oputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy, has little or no regrets about how he has lived his life. And <laughs> to tell you the truth, I, I wouldn't change anything. I've always lived my life on the edge. I've always loved the surprise. I've always, uh, I've always wrestled all the, the negatives in my life, you know? And for me, as an adventurous person, that's where it's at, you know, to know not to be too sure about tomorrow. But for me to know how I'm going to panel beat myself today to guarantee me a better tomorrow. So I wouldn't change a thing, you know. I'll probably say maybe I wish I had more children, you know. <laughs> the self-styled entertainment figure courts controversies with his lifestyle. He believes all the controversial attention is more of a compliment than a backlash. Nothing can be worse for me in my book, you know. <laughs> I know who I am, so if you call me by another name, it really doesn't bother me, you know. And uh, controversy, when you say someone is controversy, it's controversial, it just simply means uh, it's a little bit out of the box, not that he's abnormal, he's just out of the box, you know. And I'd rather stay out of the box than stay in the box, so hey. <laughs> The one-time president of the Performing Musician Association of Nigeria has good words for the organization which is just coming out of comatose since he left. Well, there will always be factions, you know, in every union there are disagreements, there's squabbles. In my own time, you know, in the beginning, there were factions also, but uh, that is why, you know, the owners rest on uh, the leadership to know exactly what its priorities are. And you can deflate factions. Uh, I don't have problems with factions. If there were no faction, it, it wouldn't be that interesting, would it? He also paid tribute to the late sage, traditional instrumentalist and singer from the north, Dan Maria Joss. Who passed away recently. He describes the late Dan Maria as a man who inspired many, although his music is not mainstream. It's always a uh Heartbreaking, losing friends, losing relatives, or anybody that you really know, not to talk about a colleague. It's a sad loss, but um, uh, there's time and season for everything, you know. Uh, at least he, he left a lot, he left us a lot of legacies, you know, uh, which I'm happy about, you know. So it's his time to go. Uh, wherever he is, I hope he's happy and resting peacefully. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure that he inspired a lot of people to find their own part, find their own levels. Uh, his uh, style of music may not be mainstream, but I'm sure even from his locale, from his community and his and uh, environment, it must have inspired a lot of people. And this is what it's all about. It's all about inspiring people, motivating people to be happy, to be free, and to really be themselves. Say what you want about Charlie Boy, a man who parades himself as the area father. What you can't take away from him is that he's pretty comfortable in his own skin. No be my photo. This time I'm a ton Money, money, oh, oh, oh. Goody, goody, we don't have a shake good old slow. 
it's a wrap on the show today. Thank you for watching. I'd love for us to do this again next week, so keep it a date. Send us tweets at channels TV underscore ENT and at Lua Mayawa OH. Lua Mayawa. I am Mayawa Ogundele. Till I see you again, stay winning.